Watching a ceremony at the army club here in Bangkok is Kaman Tsutsumpao, a former member of the Communist Party of Thailand. He and more than 6,000 other former members and communists each received nearly $7,000. $38 million in total has been distributed. It's the final payout from an amnesty agreement struck in 1980 by the government to squash the party in an armed communist resistance. 80,000 people surrendered. With Chinese heritage, Kaman Tsuksumpao represents the initial support and base of the Communist Party here. He says he outgrew communist ideals and that the amnesty has no winners. I do not see this as a winning or losing situation. It is not a game. It was a rare occasion that two opponents could come to an agreement preventing further loss. Military commanders say it was a counterinsurgency success story. We don't see these people as the enemy anymore. We are all ties and this is what we do. Forgive. Whatever happens in the past stays in the past. Despite smiles now, some of that past was bloody and deadly. In 1976, here at Thomasat University, thousands were protesting the return of an exiled military leader. Government forces and paramilitary staged a violent crackdown. Dozens of protesters were killed. Some of those who survived looked to the Communist Party of Thailand for help. That crackdown is viewed as the single event that prompted a great leap forward for the communists. Thousands of new recruits joined. But soon after, China's Communist Party pulled its support for their comrades in Thailand. The Thai military then shifted tactics from military force to amnesty and payouts. Soon after the amnesty deal, some ex-communists received land. Cash help was given in 2002, 2009, and finally this month. These payments to ex-communist party members are politically motivated, either for the government to gain more support or prevent any kind of gathering that may lead to violence. The government calls it the final share, but with Thailand remaining politically tense and divided, others question if this is really going to be the final payout and if other groups will be paid off, too. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.